Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some brand new information that we did learn about this week about an upcoming marketing campaign that Rockstar is planning in Miami, Florida, which coincidentally is the rumored location for the main map of GTA 6. So we got a ton of really interesting information to discuss today because this should give us a good idea at the timeline of when Rockstar is planning to announce and release GTA 6. So we're going to be discussing all of those details in today's video regarding that marketing campaign, when it's going to run, and everything that we know about it so far. So we got a ton of really interesting and really exciting information to discuss today, but first off, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support as well as subscribe down below for more dev videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right back to the actual video. Now, today's shout out goes to a really awesome mobile game known as Bouncy Cloud. Now, as a lot of you know, I love mobile games that are super easy and fun to play on the go. Unlike most mobile games, Bouncy Cloud has no advertising and no in app purchases to ensure that you have an experience with no interruptions. In addition, they don't store or sell any user data, which a lot of other games tend to do quite often. If you remember Flappy Bird from back in the day, Bouncy Cloud is quite similar in some of the basic ways, but it also has some interesting elements built on top of it, which I personally really enjoy. Most importantly, I think the graphics style of the game is really fun, really cute, and just super engaging to play. Bouncy Cloud is just one of those games that's perfect to pull out whenever you need a quick break, whether you're on the subway, about to go to bed, or really anywhere in between. Now, the developer of Bouncy Cloud made the game 100% completely free for this week only, so if you're interested in getting your hands on Bouncy Cloud, right now is the only time to get it for 100% free, so go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to get Bouncy Cloud for free on your iOS device. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So for those of you that have been watching my videos recently, you would know that there has been a lot of talk about Rockstar possibly revealing GTA 6 sometime this summer. Now with Rockstar telling investors during several of the recent investor calls that they are expecting a major revenue boost in mid-2024, that is when we're expecting GTA 6 to be released. Now, in terms of the reveal, some new information was found out about this week, and it gives us a very good idea of what Rockstar is planning and also when they're planning to reveal GTA 6 this year. Now, Rockstar Games has a massive marketing division, and quite possibly the biggest challenge that this division takes up is the marketing for a new game, especially at the scale of a GTA game. Now, the marketing campaign for GTA 5 was massive, that game cost about a quarter billion dollars to create, and with GTA 6, allegedly, that create cost and the development cost for the game is one billion dollars. So knowing the massive increase in the development budget, I do believe and predict that the marketing budget will be way bigger than what we saw with GTA 5 when that was revealed. Now, one of the headline features of GTA 6 is allegedly going to be a map expansion system where Rockstar can add new locations and expansions to the map over time. This has been by far one of the most requested features for a GTA game, and it's really great to see that Rockstar is likely bringing it forth with GTA 6. However, the main location that Rockstar is allegedly going to be launching the game with is Vice City, which is based on Miami, Florida in real life. Now, a few days ago, a really interesting Reddit post was uploaded that showed a letter from Take Two Interactive's Director of Channel Marketing, and they sent a letter to one of the big hotels in downtown Miami and pretty much vouching for the idea of Rockstar putting an ad for an upcoming AAA title on the side of their building. Now, this hotel is based right in the center of Miami. It's a really nice location. They have a massive building, so I definitely understand why Rockstar wants to do this. And if we take a look back at what Rockstar did with GTA 5, they are not big fans of traditional billboards. Instead, they would much rather work with a building owner, just like they're doing with the hotel, and place their ad on the actual building rather than a traditional billboard, which I think is definitely a more expensive but worthwhile strategy. 
Now, the most important part of the note is that Rockstar says they are planning to start this marketing campaign in late summer 2023 for a period of 12 months. If in fact this letter is legitimate, this is pretty much confirmation that we will get our first look at GTA 6 sometime before the end of summer this year. It's also interesting that Rockstar is allegedly saying they want to run this campaign for a period of 12 months, which also has been the rumored timeline between the reveal and release of GTA 6. Previously, Rockstar operated on a two-year release schedule, however, that allegedly has been updated for GTA 6 to be one year instead. Now, we don't know whether the hotel is actually going to go through with this. I think it's a really awesome marketing opportunity for Rockstar to put a massive billboard essentially on the side of a hotel downtown Miami. And I also really like how they're working with local businesses in Miami to advertise GTA 6. The name of the hotel is called The Guild, so keep an eye out in the coming months for some possible advertising on the side of that hotel. But in the meantime, that is all the information that we have at the moment regarding the upcoming marketing campaigns for GTA 6. But let me know in those comments down below, what are your thoughts about Rockstar's marketing strategy for GTA 6? Do you think it's a good idea to put ads on the side of buildings? Would you rather prefer them just run ads on social media instead? Any and all thoughts you have about this and more, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already those notifications on it so you're notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, I'm sure I'll talk to you guys then.